Hey, Skidmore, I gotta get on the horn and call my lawyer again. You look at the fine print, Dutton. Says you get one call a day. Oh, come on, Skid. If your lawyer calls, you'll be the first to know. Gee, thanks. You're a real pally pal. The next rec period will be in four hours. Oh, thanks. I can hardly wait. Well, you're certainly getting the royal treatment around here. Are you talking to me? No, I'm talking to Princess Carolyn of Monaco. Yes, I'm talking to you. Boy, I don't know how much more of this witty repartee I can take, Annie. How about you say we have a couple of hours of quiet? What is your problem, Vanessa? You and I used to be friends. Now you're just nasty to me. You know, Dinah never acts like that. She and I are actually pretty close, you know. Yeah. Well, having you for a friend was one of the very worst mistakes my daughter ever made in her whole life. Ouch. You were one of the worst things to hit Don. In fact, you've been one of the worst things to hit this town. <laughs> if you are implying that I had something to do with Dinah freaking out... I'm not out... implying it. I'm saying it straight up. Well, I think that's pretty funny. I mean, I heard the whole sorry story about Hart in the shooting, and if anyone pushed Dinah over the edge, Vanessa, it was you. You don't know what you're talking about. Really? Who was it that helped Dinah escape the long arm of Springfield's finest? It wasn't me, sweetie. You've been the greatest influence of her life so far, so... You are really despicable. What is it they say about people in glass houses or cement cell blocks? I know what they say about you. And that is that you're one of the most selfish, not to say vicious... You know, calling me names is not going to change the fact that Dinah couldn't have done all the things she did without the help of her loving mother. I never wanted Dinah's life to turn out the way it did. Hey, Vanessa, you don't have to apologize to me. If I had a kid in Dinah's shoes, I probably would have done the same thing. We all have what our little like? imperfections, don't we? Maybe because it is a visitor pass. Signed and stamped by your death sergeant or whatever you call him. Exactly what part of I don't want to see you again. Don't you understand? This is shaping up nicely. This could turn out to be one hell of a show. What did you come back here for, Matt? Did you forget to tell the police something? I didn't come here to fight. You turned on Dinah. You turned on me. So why don't you just leave? If you just listen to me for a I minute... I don't want to listen to you. We have nothing more to say to one another. I'm trying to get you out of this, Vanessa. I'm trying to get you out of here. Alan Spalding on the phone for you, Dutton. Yes. Try not to miss me. I don't want your help, man. I changed my story. I told the police that I'm not really sure what I saw, that I was mistaken about you being in the car with Dinah. And what was the police's response? Well... They didn't believe you, did they? No. No. And I wonder if it could possibly have something to do with Beth not backing you up, not being able to lie for me. Vanessa, it's not Beth's fault. Oh, no, I'm sure she was really just overjoyed at the thought of helping me. Come on, Vanessa. What? What? Why don't you admit it? She has an agenda. She's wanted to get me out of the way. And, and, and now I'm out of the way, and she's probably one very happy little camper. Why are you doing I mean, that? I can just see the smug look on her face. Stop it, Vanessa. Would you please she has nothing away? to do with the mess that we're in right now. Thanks. Don't yell at me. Look, I'm not here to argue with you. I'm just here to tell you that Ross is trying to arrange for your bail. In the meantime, it would be best for all of us if you could just come clean about Dinah and tell them where she is and this whole nightmare will be over. All of us? 
All of us? What are you talking about? There's no all of us. There's no us. There's no we. We both know that. You're wasting my quiet time, man. What the hell are you doing? I've never seen you act like this before. No, I don't remember feeling like this before. I don't trust you anymore. Why? Because I'm trying to get you to see the truth? You just don't get it, do you? No, I guess I don't get it. I guess I don't know what the hell's going on, so why don't you tell me? I will. I'll spell it out for you. You had no right, no right, to turn me in for trying to help my daughter. And if I'm here in this mess, it's because of you and no oh, one else. So you can just take your your self-righteous self and get the hell out of here. I'm not going anywhere now. until I can talk now. a little sense into you. No, damn it! Damn it, Vanessa! Let me out of here. You know, it's probably none of my business, and, and I hope you won't take offense at this, but I always did think Matt was pretty much a first-class jerk anyway. Oh, shut up! Shut up! <laughs> you are some kind of spitfire, girlfriend. Now I know where Dinah gets it from. Guard! You gotta yell louder than that. He's he's kind of hard of hearing, and he's lazy. Guard! Guard! Oh, here he comes, all bright-eyed and bushy-tailed. Good. Get me out of here. I want to see somebody upstairs. She means one of your bosses, someone with power. I want to see Frank Cooper right now. Oh, Skid, you're so fickle. Look at you letting her out. You have a good time in solitary, girlfriend. See ya. Might just be my ticket out of this joint. <laughs> Thank you.